I'm Brian from Science World, and today we're going to show you some fun science you can do at home using toilet paper and air. Now for your toilet paper, you want to get two squares, just like my friend Christina here, and you want to do what we do. Put two thumbs on top of the toilet paper. You want to hold it up under your mouth, nice and close, but don't actually lick it. Now in a moment, we're going to blow across the toilet paper. I want you to make a prediction. Do you think the toilet paper is going to go up or go down? Let's find out. The toilet paper is coming up, which always struck me as a bit weird. If you're blowing on it, you'd think it would go down. But there was a really cool scientist named Bernoulli who studied air and fluids and how things move and discovered when you have fast moving air, you get an area of lower pressure here. So the rest of the air in the room pushes up on the underside, lifting up the toilet paper. This is one of the things that helps an airplane stay in the air. The fast moving air over the top of the wing creates lower pressure. Other air pushes on the bottom and lifts it up. Now this is the small version. We want to show you a big version you can do as well. So this time we're going to use a whole roll of toilet paper. Christina, can you hold that over your head here? And rather than me blowing, we're going to use a leaf blower. Ready? Three, two, one. Science and toilet paper. Thanks, Christina. Thank you. 